Here is Woody, right? This is Woody. And how old is Woody? Woody is about seven years old. Wow, and Gracie, is this your dog? Uh, family dog. Family dog. What do you like to do with Woody? Like, do you do fetch? Um, he doesn't do fetch. <laughs> he doesn't do a lot. Do you like to go to the park with him? <laughs> he hasn't been to a park. No way, but... <laughs> Yeah, so you like to brush him, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how often do you do that? Um, not that much. Yeah, but... Probably more than we do. But it's, it's a lot of fun. It, yeah. 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 He's, what are some cool facts about the dog? Like, who, um, um... He doesn't shed. That's a great thing. He doesn't shed. If you're looking for a dog, this might be it. It doesn't shed. We do shed. have to cut his hair. Right now he looks like a sheep dog. But he's but so cute. He should have a beard. And he has big teeth. If you see those teeth. Oh wow. But he doesn't bite. Uh, he's not he's not the brightest of the bunch, but he's <laughs> lovable. Yeah. And Mrs. McHale has a lot of information about Airedale. So, the, uh, uh, a fascinating thing with Airedales. Do I need to lean in more? Okay, come on in. <laughs> is that um they are their their taxonomic clarification is Can you can you define taxonomic? That's like their their scientific name. Of familiar, it's uh, it's uh, Canis lupus familiarius, and they have um, they were first bred in the late 1800s, really, and they have um, well, they were used extensively in World War One. The interesting part is like how Woody has these little bow tie on. They would actually <laughs> put messages in the collars of the dogs and allow the dogs, they would send them to deliver messages behind lines to, to soldiers. They were that accurate that yeah, they could just they, send them? Yeah, they would just send them because there was a lot more that was a little brighter than all <laughs> And they would also um, take the dogs and they would use them to find the wounded on the battlefields ah, back then. Do yeah. you still use them at all in uh, workplaces? They're extensively used in hunting. Really? Yeah. So they've got a great nose. Yes, probably. they're great. They're great scent dogs. Have you guys ever gone hunting with Wood? <laughs> no. No. One time there was hunting a dead popcorn. One time there was a dead possum in the backyard, and he wouldn't use the bathroom for three days. Oh, I was gonna. I thought he was gonna be sure to find no, it. No, he was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely different than the World War One dogs. <laughs> Bingo rolling it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, <laughs> that is that's hilarious. Woody. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on, you guys. Wizzy is an amazing dog. If you need one, just take Mrs. Birchwell's. Um, but <laughs> you have something else you had going on yeah, other than... Yeah, something else exciting that Woody, right. Woody's come to help us promote. All right. The red, white, and blue. So drum roll for mock trial. It's that time of year again. Debate. Chandler, Lilia, Alana, if you're listening. Uh, I hope that you've been recruiting and doing your homework. So, what is mock trial? Mock trial is just what it sounds like. It's a fake court case that kids, any kids, kids in sports, kids in music, kids in nothing, can participate in. What we age will be, kids? Uh, uh, any high schooler can participate. And we're, we, the great thing about me not teaching this year is that I can work around your schedules. I can meet you at lunch. I can meet you at your, your study hall time. I can meet you after school. And mock trial is what you put into it. So if you put a lot of into it on your own, you can still participate with meeting with me less. Or if you need more time with me, it's up, it's up to you. But this year's case is a fascinating one. Mrs. McHale was really interested in it. And um, I can't remember who else was interested this morning. But it's, it has to do with, with flying drones. Oh, no and way. Yes. Noah loves flying, drones. Flying drones and where, <laughs> you, you know, you have privacy in your backyard. But where does your aerospace privacy end? Is it like 20 feet up, 30 feet up? Right. Um, you know, Google takes pictures in your backyard. Is that okay? Is it not okay? So it all has to do with privacy and drones. Yeah. So it's a really I think interesting just, case this year. Yeah, just this week, new FAA drone laws came out. So that'll totally... Very, it's, yeah, they try to keep, keep up to date. So we need lawyers. Um, that's a little more involved. We need witnesses, which is a little less involved, but still fun and um, it looks great on a college resume if you can do this uh -huh. so um, I will be around at lunch today and tomorrow to talk to anybody who's even just interested even if you're just interested it's not a commitment just come find me in room one um, I'll, I'll find you in the cafeteria and come talk to me about mock trial so 
you said today during lunch and tomorrow tomorrow so go ahead and talk to her and what did how far did you guys go last year or last year we went we did really well we had a team that really clicked and we 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 flew by round one <laughs> flying easy colors. peasy and then we we got very close within a couple points to going on to the states which wow. was the farthest we'd ever gone and we got higher high ratings in that last round so we we can go as far as you guys want to take it. So this so. year we can make it to states. We could. That's would right. that be the first That's team right. to go to states? Yes, or? it would be. That would be. That's got to be it this year. Thanks so much for <laughs> yeah. showing us Thanks about for Woodsy for Wild <laughs> Wednesday and Mock Trial.